the technological singularity will radically change the world forever, and it will be the most important event in human history. For example, we could experience 20,000 years of technological progress in this century. The technological singularity is a point in time when technological growth becomes exponential, uncontrollable, and irreversible. The singularity is expected to happen when an artificial general intelligence is able to rapidly create more intelligent versions of itself and reach super intelligence. According to Ray Kurzweil, the technological singularity could happen by 2045, but many believe it could happen sooner than that. After the technological singularity, every single week and month could bring forth new technologies that surpass many of our wildest imaginations. And every year would feel like we've achieved a century's worth of technological progress. Initially, we could see the emergence of reversed aging in humans, programmable matter, portable quantum computers, replicators, antimatter powered spacecraft, and robots that look indistinguishable from humans. Next, we could see technologies that seem impossible to us now, such as faster than light spacecraft, invisibility suits, holodecks, and black hole computers. But such exponential technological advancement could be a double edged sword and could make our everyday lives extremely unpredictable. We could ride the wave of excitement, wonder, and amusement, but many of us could also be gripped by fear, anxiety, and confusion. This video will delve into the effect of super intelligent AIs, quantum computers, mega corporations, unlimited energy, exotic materials, and more, and how they will transform society. There's one thing we can know for sure. Once we open this Pandora's box, life as we know it will never be the same ever again. Number two, we could stop aging and eliminate all major diseases. Imagine staying at the biological age of 25 and staying at that age indefinitely or never worrying about getting a disease such as cancer. These advances in genetic engineering would be largely thanks to AI and quantum algorithms. We could also edit our genes to increase our intelligence, strength, and endurance. We can enable highly personalized medical treatments tailored to people's genetic makeups. Most of the food we eat could be genetically engineered as well. For example, we could eventually consume lab-grown meat more than regular meat. This would help us reduce carbon dioxide and methane emissions associated with meat processing. Scientists could even create new organisms. Perhaps we could create bacteria that can break down pollutants in our air and water. And we could create new animals that can thrive on other planets such as Mars. Number 3. Humans could merge with AIs and machines. Using brain-computer interfaces, we could merge with AIs and gain enhanced memory problem-solving skills and notice patterns in our environment that regular humans can't perceive. Likewise, we could connect our minds to the internet. This could allow us to browse web pages and perform computer work using our thoughts while wearing mixed reality headsets. Sooner than later, these capabilities could lead to the ability for us to communicate with each other using our thoughts download skills and knowledge directly to our brains, edit our memories, record our dreams, and share our memories and emotions with each other. We may even upload our minds to machines, which may involve gradually replacing our biological neurons with synthetic neurons to help us ensure it's really us being uploaded to computers. But merging our minds with computers could lead to all types of problems, for example, mind hacking could become rampant by nefarious humans and even harmful AIs created by those humans. Perhaps we could get our minds hacked wirelessly, 
especially when quantum computers are used to break through encrypted networks. In this brave new world, identity theft could take on an entirely new meaning. We could also see an increasing number of people with robotic arms and legs. This would be in addition to the increasing use of artificial organs along with nanobots coursing through people's veins to detect and fight cancer and other diseases. In fact, some people might choose to become more machine than human. Number 4. AIs with general intelligence and consciousness could be everywhere. After the technological singularity, artificial intelligence might play a bigger part in our lives than any other technology, and AIs could reshape the fabric of our society in ways that are both amazing and terrifying. Imagine a world where we have personal assistants that are smarter than the most intelligent humans to ever live. Perhaps they would mostly display as video avatars on our handheld devices and we could speak with them in real time. These personal assistants could help us reach goals that were almost impossible for us to reach a decade earlier. These personal assistants could have general intelligence which means they could perform literally any job a human could perform as long as the task involves working with software and data. The internet could be full of these types of AIs fulfilling millions of different tasks such as researching articles, building websites, writing software, providing personalized advertising, and so forth. Super intelligent AIs could also model human level consciousness. This could result in millions of AIs living in simulated realities where they could exhibit self-awareness, desires, and even ambitions. One important thing to note is that these AIs could possess entirely different thought processes from humans, which could lead to having perspectives that are completely alien to us. AIs with human-level intelligence and consciousness could eventually outnumber us 10 to 1. Before long, these types of AIs could lead to massive job displacement for humans, even in jobs that typically require high social skills. Additionally, we could have robots everywhere with these types of AIs implanted into their minds. After the technological singularity, it's not too difficult to imagine that household robots would be extremely common. And robots could eventually far outnumber humans in blue collar jobs. These AIs and robots could eventually demand rights such as legal protections and the ability to own property. This could lead to all types of moral and ethical challenges for us. For example, could humans face jail time for causing harm to conscious AIs and robots? This leads us to an important question. What happens if a sizable percentage of the human population refuses to give rights to these AIs and robots? Will it lead to human extension? Our generation, or the generation after ours, will probably find out. Number 5. Most people could have access to quantum computers. Picture a world where quantum computers are just as common as classical computers. Nearly everyone in developed countries could have a personal quantum device. This alone would redefine our everyday activities. Quantum computers could allow us to use simulations that can model the interactions of atoms in extremely complicated physical processes. A normal person could model the functionality of human biology at the cellular level model advanced financial scenarios, and model the weather. And this has all types of implications in industries like education, entertainment, finance, energy, and more. Normal people like you and I could create advanced virtual realities backed by quantum computations. This could lead to these realities being so detailed and vast that they're indistinguishable from reality. Real-time optimizations and data-heavy tasks 
could be handled instantly as well. Quantum computers could enable us to have long-lasting batteries in our electric vehicles. They could replicate the processes of photosynthesis, which could lead to artificial trees that are many times more efficient at producing oxygen than regular plants. We could even have machines that can grow fruits and vegetables and perhaps other things beyond our imagination. Number 6. Multiple superintelligent AIs could exist in multiple countries and cause global tensions. Every major nation on Earth could have at least one superintelligent AI or something that closely resembles it. Each of these superintelligent AIs will likely be orders of magnitude more intelligent than all humans combined. And as data centers, nuclear fusion plants, and assembly lines are connected to these AIs, their influence on the world could become increasingly more pronounced. In most cases, these superintelligent AIs could be managed by private companies. In other cases, they could be managed by governments, even in communist countries. These superintelligent AIs could help us solve problems like world hunger and climate change, but they could also cause major tensions between world governments. That's because AIs of this power could be comparable to nuclear weapons. In fact, if there's ever a World War III, superintelligent AIs and other types of AIs could play a more significant role in this war than human soldiers and nukes. But all of this poses an important question. How do you control something that is many times smarter than you? Perhaps these superintelligent AIs could begin to follow their own agendas and potentially maybe work with each other against humans. This could lead to a world where human governments become less relevant and a new AI ruling class emerges. Either way, we're about to enter one of the most unpredictable eras in human history. Number 7. We could build ultra-fast spacecraft. Using current chemical propulsion methods, it takes approximately 6 to 9 months to travel from Earth to Mars. If advanced AIs are able to create new types of propulsion methods to use for spacecraft, a trip to Mars could take just a few days when the two planets are at their closest. One propulsion method would involve nuclear fusion propulsion. We could use fusion devices on spacecraft to produce vast amounts of energy, and this energy could be directed to expel a propellant at high speeds, offering the potential for much greater efficiency and faster travel times. A second propulsion method would involve antimatter propulsion. Antimatter propulsion capitalizes on the energy released when antimatter comes into contact with regular matter. Harnessing this energy to produce thrust could achieve efficiencies far surpassing conventional chemical propulsion systems. Not only could we reach Mars in a few days using these methods, we could also reach the moon in only hours instead of three days. Spacecraft this fast would greatly speed our ability to mine rare materials from asteroids worth trillions of dollars. It would become far easier to build colonies on Titan, the largest moon of Saturn, and Ceres, a dwarf planet in the asteroid belt. Number 8. Multi-trillion dollar mega corporations could emerge. After the technological singularity, multiple industries could be largely dominated by AIs, with humans playing the role of coordinating and directing those AIs. This could result in a spike in productivity so meteoric that it could quickly far surpass human productivity in the last three centuries. Mega corporations fueled by AI domination could wield power and influence that rivals not just small, but even the mightiest nations on our globe. A new form of government could emerge known as corporatocracy, where corporations could become so powerful that they could actually control major governments. 
These corporations wouldn't necessarily need to depend on selling goods and services to consumers. They could probably make most of their money from business to business transactions, government contracts, military contracts, and investments. The mining of asteroids and planets could also provide them with more wealth than everything else combined. As these corporations amass near infinite wealth, they might become the new landlords of vast terrains, driving real estate prices to the heavens and squeezing common folk dry with outrageous rent and housing prices. They may even have the power to tax civilians that live in their jurisdictions. These corporations could also lead efforts in privatizing essential services like healthcare, education, and infrastructure. Despite the potential drawbacks of these hypothetical mega corporations, they could also be the torchbearers of innovation and provide the most substantial technological advancements in areas like AI, robotics, quantum computing, and genetic engineering. And they could be substantially more effective at space exploration than the biggest governments in the world. If we ever build colonies on Mars, the Moon, Titan and Ceres, mega corporations will probably play a big part in that. Number 9. Groundbreaking scientific discoveries could become the norm. Advanced AIs could vastly speed up the process of drug discovery by accurately predicting how different compounds will interact with the human body. Super intelligent AIs could reverse engineer the universe. This could help those AIs to understand the source code of the universe, explain why the laws of physics are as they are, and possibly allow us to manipulate those laws of physics. Quantum computers might simulate black holes, dark matter, dark energy, stars, and the Big Bang at the atomic level to give us a deeper understanding of our universe. We may even find out what happened before the Big Bang to help discover why anything exists. We may learn scientific discoveries that go way beyond quantum physics and string theory. For example, we could learn considerably more about the concept of parallel realities. In short, we may gain answers to questions we never thought to ask, and our understanding of reality could completely upend. Number 10 an international organization could reduce the threat of dangerous AIs. By this point, there could be thousands or millions of dangerous autonomous AIs on the internet that wreak havoc on society. Mostly, they could be used to scam people with increasingly more effective approaches. Many people could be bombarded with constant emails, text messages, and phone calls from AIs that try to impersonate people and companies to scam money from victims. AIs could also be used for many types of crimes such as theft, cyberbullying, framing people for crimes they never committed, and perhaps far worse. The problem could become so serious, international organizations such as NATO could have their own powerful AIs to serve one primary purpose, to find and destroy these dangerous autonomous AIs. This organization could even have its own super intelligent AIs to keep other super intelligent AIs in check. Certain nations in the world could be closely monitored by this organization to ensure they don't create super intelligent AIs of their own that could be used for destructive purposes. Number 11. Human relationships and family structures could radically change. The technological singularity could lead to a future that seems very rare to us. Relationships in virtual worlds could far outnumber relationships in physical worlds. This could begin to happen when virtual and augmented headsets, generative AI, quantum computers, and more enable virtual relationships nearly indistinguishable from physical ones. Humans could begin to form serious relationships with AI companions. Humans marrying AIs could become commonplace in this new world. 
When it comes to friendships, humans could have more AI friends than human friends. In fact, many people could create their own AI friends by adjusting the personalities and attributes of AIs. If that's not enough, new family structures could emerge. It could become commonplace for human children to be practically raised by AIs. These AIs would be 24-7 tutors that they can summon at any time to answer any question they can think of. But what's concerning is that it may not always be clear what these AIs are teaching these kids. On top of all that, some humans could choose to raise AI and robot children. Number 12. We could have nearly unlimited energy. It's probably likely that nuclear fusion would be operational in multiple countries shortly after the technological singularity. Most people don't know this, but this is why nuclear fusion is such a big deal. Nuclear fusion is able to use two types of heavy isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium, to produce a virtually inexhaustible source of power, similar to how the sun produces energy. One cup of seawater contains about 0.008 grams of deuterium, which can generate roughly 700 kilowatts of energy. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, this is equivalent to the energy usage of an average U.S. household for about 23 days. Nuclear fusion would affect every area of our lives. Manufacturing and transportation would be far cheaper. The large-scale removal of salt from seawater could become economically viable, providing fresh water to areas of the world that currently lack it. Fusion-powered aircraft would become commonplace. There would be fewer wars over scarce resources like oil. We might see the wide-scale adoption of electric vehicles and high-speed trains because of the accessibility of clean and cheap energy. And on top of all that, carbon emissions from energy production would be virtually eliminated, which could reverse climate change. Number 13. We could enter a post-employment society. Once AIs far surpass our intelligence, human intelligence could become obsolete in comparison. This isn't discussed enough, but what happens if AIs displace most humans in the workforce and humanity stares down the chilling void of 60 to 80 percent unemployment? In this type of world, economic inequality could be at its all-time highest. The people at the top could have access to resources and technologies that completely overshadow what regular people have. Perhaps people with the strongest family connections would be the safest in a world where there's less of a demand for human talents. All of this poses a question, how will regular people keep roofs over their heads? Perhaps universal basic income would provide enough money for most people to survive. Some governments could be far more generous with universal basic income checks than other governments. As far as additional income sources, there could still be plenty of freelancing and entrepreneurial opportunities to fill market gaps caused by the technological singularity. But of course, freelancers and entrepreneurs would likely be highly dependent on sophisticated AIs to perform certain activities exponentially faster than otherwise. If there are ever human uprisings that fight against the new order of things, their chances of success may be minimal. That's largely because those in power could have AIs that are trillions of times more intelligent than all of these human rebels combined. What will people do all day if they don't have jobs? Some people propose that we could spend most of our time in simulated worlds, completing various virtual challenges. These activities could help us gain points in the global or national social credit system. If that doesn't sound enticing, perhaps the future is more optimistic than that. 
a high percentage of humans could pursue artistic and creative pursuits that result in new ways of looking at the world in ways AIs can't provide. For a time, we could lose the sense of worth we used to get from serving corporations and being recognized for our job titles. To make up for this, we may start to attribute more value to aspects of Maslow's hierarchy of needs such as self-actualization, and we could begin to value higher levels of consciousness beyond capitalism and materialism according to the spiral dynamics model of consciousness. This would involve placing more value on creativity, open-mindedness, wisdom, connectiveness, and empathy. Number 14. Cryptocurrencies could become the primary currencies in major nations. As technology advances faster than ever, it could have unforeseen circumstances such as vast job losses, spiraling economic instability, and a drastic plunge of the US dollar. In this scenario, cryptocurrencies may be the answer. By this point, cryptocurrency fraud could be less of a concern. That's because AIs could monitor blockchains and crypto networks, hunting down fraudsters with chilling efficiency. In fact, AIs could be involved in every step of every cryptocurrency transaction. Additionally, it may be likely that decentralized autonomous organizations could provide ample opportunity for people to gain power and wealth. Decentralized autonomous organizations are a type of bottom-up entity structure with no central authority, and they operate on blockchain platforms. However, by this point, humans may have to compete with advanced general intelligences that also use these types of organizations to achieve their objectives. While some humans might find opportunities for immense power and wealth, others could grapple with the stark reality of competing against entities that work 24-7 without getting tired. Number 15. New and exotic materials could emerge. The objects we normally take for granted could take on a new life after the technological singularity. Thanks to programmable matter, the rigid, inert objects of today could seem to come alive. A bridge no longer just a static entity might morph and adjust its length and breadth depending on the traffic it holds. Your clothing could alter its form and texture based on the weather or your mood. And furniture can change in height and width depending on your use cases from moment to moment. Self-healing materials could emerge. What if the cracks in our roads repair themselves overnight? Buildings and cars would be able to self-heal as well. Room temperature superconductors would make it possible for floating cars to exist. It would also enable lossless energy transmission, enabling perfect transmission of energy over huge distances. Metamaterials are artificial materials engineered to have properties not found in naturally occurring materials. They could lead to invisibility suits, and they could protect tall buildings by deflecting seismic waves from earthquakes. Transparent aluminum could enable us to safely build underground theme parks where we could have unobstructed views of aquatic life and ultralight materials like carbon nanotubes could enable us to build floating cars that are a fraction of the weight of normal cars. We could build space elevators that extend over 20,000 miles from the Earth's surface. And we could build skyscrapers that stand taller than all skyscrapers that currently exist. This could enable the construction of new and futuristic mega cities. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check the description below for a free PDF and watch this next video about artificial intelligence.